Hey friends, it's a hot day in Philly, so let's refresh with some Dunkin'. You know what I wish Dunkin' would get right? If I order any food item, I wish they would put two napkins in the bag. Two. I would even appreciate one. One would be better than the zero. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so we ordered a small strawberry dragon refresher lemonade. Ready? That's good. That's good. I was nervous just because the dragon fruit. I think I don't know why, but you know the strawberry. The strawberries hitting. Ooh, that's actually so good. <laughs> I I can't stand. I can't stand Dunkin' anymore because they're just so expensive. And can't stand it. I think part of the reason why they're so expensive is that everyone works remotely. Now it's because of corporate greed. Who am I kidding? But I used to get Dunkin' a lot when I would go downtown, whether it was for school or for work. And it's just, oh, I'm gonna grab a Dunkin' and then I'm on my way to wherever I gotta be. Now I'm at home, I got K cups. We got a Keurig. We ain't doing all that. And even when I want a latte, I have the latte machine, so we're still not doing all that. This is every once in a while Dunkin's is a treat. However, they have a watermelon burst donut, and I'm like, that sounds so gross. I want to try it. So we're doing this together. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, so we just all first look. It's just a. It's like pink sugar and a jelly donut is what it looks like. I looked at the ingredients. There's no gelatin, so vegetarian friendly. All right, I'm sorry. I'm probably crinkling like crazy. Put that down. I'll just be messy. Nope. Okay, so as of right now, or <laughs> the jelly exploded kind of out of the bottom of the donut. Let me just try to get like a good bite of this. Okay. Okay. I can see what they're doing. It doesn't taste like watermelon. It tastes like if you bought a watermelon scented candle, I imagine it tasting this tastes the way that candle smells. Yeah, I'm gonna take another bite. It's not, it's not inedible, right? But this also has like a sour flavor in this jelly that I'm not a fan of. Yeah, this is good. This is good. She's our winner. I'm glad I went small. Whew. For sure. This is pretty though. I hope you can see this. This pink is really pretty. Ooh. But the taste is awful. Well, not awful, but off. Honestly, honestly, if you get a donut and it's filled with something other than cream, like you, if you prefer jelly, you ain't it. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. You can like whatever you want. All right, someone's got to eat these. I was so hungry. I don't care. I don't care that I ate that whole donut in like one minute. Good, 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 good. I'm wearing a fanny pack. I didn't just pull that out of my, my lady parts. 
I'm gonna put that there. Here. <sighs> so it's interesting, right? Like I wonder if I wonder what's going on because I do see a lot more watermelon scented stuff and now we've got this watermelon flavored donut. I wonder if it's watermelon something, right? We're always trying to get the next pumpkin spice, but I don't know if there's ever going to be a next pumpkin spice. Watermelon is my second favorite fruit, first being pineapple. That's why we hold watermelon to a high level <laughs> taste. But she's a good girl. We love her. Definitely go out and try one of their lemonade refreshers. I tried this one. I thought about doing the kiwi lemonade, but the color was green, and I was just like, no, let's do pink for girls. <laughs> Woo, I honest frog. See, you know what I just did? I took this off of my hair, and all the grease from my hair is now on my sunglasses, so I can't see out of them. Oh, no. Do you hate it when that happens? Oh. Yeah, so for sure, for sure. Definitely try a lemonade refresher. I don't know about the donut. You probably are intelligent enough that you were like, I'm never gonna go get that. That seems weird and gross. And you make good decisions. Ugh. Whereas I'm like, what if I film it? then it's not weird. I'm putting it on the internet. It's informative. <laughs> it's called a loophole. <laughs> oh, it is so hot right now in Philly. Oh my goodness. And it, it really isn't. It's like 70 some degrees, but because I'm sitting in the car, maybe if I did this, then we're kind of in the dark and I don't like it. I feel suffocated. Yeah, sunroof is one of those things that when you have it, you get used to it, and then when you don't use it or get into a car without it, you're like, I'm in the dark. Why is it so dark in here? I'm like in a coffin. FYI, I know for a fact that everyone in this parking lot can hear me because someone came up with their kids, and I could hear 100% of their words. So, if anything, they're going to hear me out, they're going to try a lemonade refresher, and they're not going to try the watermelon donut. It's funny that like, if you walk into any Dunkin' Donut, I would bet any amount of money that that watermelon donut is just like filled all the way to the top. <laughs> you know what's sad? Like literally, like I said, when I, when I was going downtown, like in college and for work, you know, like you would you would have people that worked at these Dunkin' Donuts that hooked you up. And they were just sweethearts that are like, oh, you know what, I messed up your coffee. Let me just get you a new one. Even though, I guess I shouldn't say anything because my last Dunkin' video, they messed up my thing and they just let me get the coffee that I wanted instead of, which would have been like a $4 coffee instead of the $2 coffee, but like, but it was like free and it's just, you know, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. <sighs> But yeah, Dunkin' Donuts is expensive anymore, so if you have maybe, I don't know, if you're like going to treat yourself with Dunkin' Donut, yeah, definitely go Lemonade Refresher or a Cream Donut, Cream Delight, I think is what they're called, and it's my favorite, but the vanilla cream is also good. That might be dirty, but it's, it's what they're called, so I don't care. I don't care. All right, friends. Thank you so much for watching. Love you so much. And as always, on to the next beverage. <laughs> See you guys. Bye -bye. See, I don't have it. She smells like watermelon and alcohol, so here it goes. So it's hard Mountain Dew, watermelon flavored, zero sugar. I think I think if it 
wasn't diet soda or if I liked diet soda, I would like this a lot better. Um, yeah, it does have like a Jolly Rancher-esque taste to it. I'm not getting this again. This is not, this isn't it. I don't know. You know what? This does have a remnant of Four loco, but I don't feel like I'm going to just pass away after drinking it. I will say I like the art. <laughs> that was so gross. <laughs> I wanted to see what color it was. Oh, it's pink. <laughs> I'm sorry. I swear to God, this is the, this is the only thing I've drank alcohol-wise. I didn't come on here drunk. I d <laughs> making so many good decisions. I just saw at the bottom it said and certified color, and I was like, oh, what color is it? And I couldn't even tell you the last time I've actually had a Mountain Dew. <laughs> We're not getting her again though, so. I felt like this went with our watermelon themed video today, so. C'est la vie or whatever. If you like diet soda, she might be for you. All right guys, thanks for watching the bonus vid. Love you, bye. Stay safe if you drink. <laughs> bye. Yeah, just, it, you know, it, it tastes like diet soda. <laughs>